So then if you ask the chart, what is the purpose of your life, right? So I, I like this. The purpose of your life is fame through accomplishment. And it's only impulsiveness and isolation are the only things that might get in the way. 1974, um, April 22nd, born between 2 and 3 p.m., right? Uh, so um, this is it in Chinese. So basically you're a tiger, it's the, the yin, Chen, the dragon, that's the yin uh, tiger for the year, that's the basic self. Uh, for the month, you're the dragon, you're an earth dragon, sort of a uh, general, general dragon. The snake, water snake for the day, that sort of rules the chart. Mm -hmm. And then as it, the chart moves across, it's as you get older, um, it's the goat. So, and then these are all the elements that come with it. The bottom half of the chart is, is you on earth. The top half of the chart is, is what's given. Um, it's divine. So I understand. You're, getting, you're understanding this really good, I think. <laughs> well, it, it, it matches a lot of things that I study, actually. Well, Will must have known that. <laughs> I don't think he knew that. <laughs> but he might have known that. Um, but so I want to make sure that I understand right. a couple so you, of points. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Because I know you understand it so well that you might not think right. about what I want to understand. To explain it. Right. Yeah. Um, so I understand the caution of needing other people like myself. I like I understand that need for that people resource. Back you up. Right. Yeah. Uh, I understand the need to mitigate impulsiveness. Right. And like wait and observe. Right. And believe in the optimal that will come. Yeah. Well, yeah. So the driving force in the numero numerology chart is your determined nature. You have an extremely determined nature, single minded. And what you see in your makeup isn't always what you get, right? So people see all the determinedness, but you might not always just feel that way. So there is like um, the symbol in Chinese astrology is the mountain. You're the mountain the stillness, but you know if somebody goes inside the mountain, it's a whole other thing. I just wanted to ask about the the image of the mountain. Mm, okay. Are there a finite set of images that are related to each other, the way that uh, the yeah. zodiac is? Totally. So for you, it would be the mountain. This is a really good question. The mountain, flame, fire, and then the third one is wood. But it's a kind of wood that's a sequoia, not a, um, you would be a, if somebody would ask me to describe you as a tree, you'd be a sequoia. It's like a tree with, a big tree with a root, not one that's going to um, bend so easily. So it sounds like geography element and organism. So is, does everybody have those three? No. You just happen to have those three. Yeah, you know, I just looked into the symbolism of the mountain. Like if you ask me that, what, is the, what does it mean to be the mountain in Chinese astrology and its strength and stability? And then with that, there's also the need to retreat. What is the need to retreat? Well, because in the mountain, what the, it's like the monk. That's part of the reflective aspect. The monk goes into the mountain, thinks about things, comes out, checks it all out, see what's happening in the world, goes back in. You know, the, I don't know if I should tell you anything because it's not really a question, it's just me saying that I guess the things in my life right now, of course I'm a teacher, so there's school and there's kind of like, you know, tenure and committees and things like that. And also I'm having a show uh, September 11th and so uh, After there's, the seventh. Yeah. So it moves then. Yeah. And so there's that, and there's also my community of artists, mm -hmm. because I just went to a, a conference of African American artists mm -hmm. in Chicago, and uh, a lot of us were from New York, mm -hmm. and so now we're planning to get together and start working together mm -hmm. again. Uh, you know, we, I guess most of us kind of knew each other, right. but we didn't really. Right. Work together. Right. 
So, so the planning aspect. Yeah, yeah. Which normally I uh, askew, you know, like I'm right, not. Right, because you're basically more impulsive according to this. You like to act on impulse. Right. Which isn't really to your, if there was one thing that that's indicated, it's that to uh, tone down the impulsiveness for the year. It's just for the year. Let's say you're in a mood that you are really in that changeable mood, right? That you shouldn't make decisions. You should wait until you figure out you're in that in that mood, and then just um, wait till you can even it out, balance it out. So, what do you think about your talent and your changeable nature? Do you think that's accurate? That if you were to um, think about it, that. that because probably your mind is very fast, that there is this changeable nature. Well, uh, you know, in the Bible it says, I think Jesus once said that the kingdom of heaven is like a man who finds a treasure buried in a field, and so he goes and sells everything he owns and he buys the field. Mm -hmm. And I kind of, uh, in my pursuit of art, that's how I see the work. As in, uh, I find the work buried in some field, and then I abandon whatever else I was doing, and I buy that field to excavate the work. Interesting. And then I, but I do move on. Like if if I find a better treasure in a, another field, then I'll right. sell the old field and treasure, right. and then go to the next. And also, probably, in some ways, I don't have faith in myself, and so outside of the art or maybe inside the art and so I'm willing to allow chance to make decisions which is why I'm impulsive yeah. it's because I feel like chance can make the decisions as well as I could so I'm very quick to make decisions mm -hmm. impulsive yeah <laughs> wow so it's pretty right on right and then in a kind of you know, because how I do this, I take it from many sources. I do these equations, and it doesn't always just come out the way I would like it to, but it comes out in a way where you get sort of an idea about the person's, you know, way they work. Mm -hmm. So that is interesting. Because I'm just the, the opposite. Everything I do has to be very closely linked. Mm -hmm. One thing, you know, has to come directly out of what came before and then there's series of things that just you know stay in one place for a very long time mm -hmm. you have a lot of power in your chart but the power without strengthening the position doesn't you know always work to your favor mm -hmm. it just seems it's funny that it's two different things right strength and and so your, your authority is supported by others, but you need the more others. You need to build others. So are all the cross currents cause for concern? Are they counter to the rotation? Is that why they cause concern? Um, on the inside? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like that would be a concern to, to me that, you know, you have vibrant you have vibrant performance, but you, you need more. You need more support. You need more support. So the only thing I don't understand, of course, I probably don't understand a lot of things, but uh, the directions I don't understand. I guess it's just because there's not really a parallel in, in anything else, that right? In like Western no, not. mythology of what the directions mean, like right. the directions don't have meaning. No, it's the way things pair up more than that. It's just the way certain elements pair up, whether they're all on one side or the other, or if you have all of the directions, that's kind of like really kind of balanced, right? Mm -hmm. um, this gets really interesting look cycle. So it doesn't matter that it's not in here because you, you have um, luck cycles, right? Ten-year luck cycles. So that's how come I knew to paint when I painted when I look for a gallery, when I look for a gallery, I knew it was, it was very uh, fortuitous for me to do it at that time. What do directions mean? Same thing. Like this. Oh, the is, seasons. Well, this is the east is um, linked with the spring, right? 
So the dragon rules the east in the spring. The tiger rules the east and the spring. The snake rules the south and the summer. And I thought that was curious that you had these two sets, you know, east and south in the chart. You know, sometimes it's all over the place for people, but this is, these two are together and these two are together. And I think you just told me a second ago, but uh, so the directions represent seasons, but what do seasons represent? Do, they it's don't represent the, same thing. the like age the, of a person. I mean, because, you know, sometimes they say, you know, the, the winter or the spring or the summer of life, but that's right, not what no. it represents. No, so you were born in, um, it ha it's more to do with the condition of the earth when you're born. Where, what the condition of the earth is in the east, what's the condition of the earth in the south when you're born. So that's why you would use that. So then some of the animals travel together because of the harmoniousness of the directions, and then others that are at complete opposite clash. And if you have a clash in a chart, that can be a um, disruptive element. Did I? I think everybody has a little bit of a clash. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> and it just dawned on me yeah. that it's because the constellations move across the sky. Yeah. That's what the direction is. Yeah. Um, I would have to look for, uh, yeah, tiger and snake, there's a conflict. So between the year and the day. And tigers are obvious and snakes are sneaky? Yeah. I guess it would be like a really nice chart, like I consider your chart a really nice chart. Um, then, um, then it makes me happy. Like when I first saw my, my chart, I was devastated. Although it said exactly, the, um, I never thought of myself as being um, a tank. And do you mean tank as in container? Or oh, tank, tank as in is like <laughs> a tank. <laughs> yeah. I never saw, my, I saw myself that way. I saw, I was like, oh, I'm pretty, pretty fragile, you know. Um, but when I saw the, when I saw the, the when I saw the, then I, I started to recognize myself in the chart. That was the value of it for me. Um, just between you and I, I don't know if you see yourself um, uh, as powerful, but you're very powerful. <laughs> Yeah, I recognize that. Um, yeah, so basically if you use the aggressiveness to go after the support at the right time. And this is the right the time. Way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, big time. Yeah, that's good to know, right? Yeah, that's uh, important to know. 